How Resistor Works. Explained. Resistors come in dozens of sizes and shapes but they all do the same thing, limit current. But, more about that later. First, let's see how a typical resistor is made. This is a typical carbon composition resistor. It has an incoming current and outgoing current. A wire lead, a carbon composition, a protective housing, and, color code bands. Carbon composition is just a fancy way of describing powdered carbon mixed with a glue-like binder. This kind of resistor is easy to make. And its resistance can be changed from one resistor to the next simply by changing the ratio of carbon particles to binder. More carbon gives less resistance. Resistor color code Have you seen those color code bands on the resistor picture? In real life they're kind of pretty. but. They have a far more important purpose. They indicate the resistance of the resistor, they decorate, here's how. These are the color code bands. Sometimes there's a fourth band. It indicates the tolerance of the resistor. Gold is equals to positive negative 5%. Silver is equals to positive negative 10%. None is equals to positive negative 20%. Looks complicated the first time. But you'll quickly learn how to use it. For example, what's the resistance of a resistor color coded yellow, violet and red? The answer is easy. Yellow is the first color so the first number is 4. Violet is the second color so the second number is 7. Since the third color is red, the multiplier is 100. Therefore, the resistance is 47 times 100 or 4,700 ohms. No fourth color band means the actual resistance is 4,700 positive negative 20%. 20% 20 of 4,700 is 940. Therefore, the actual value is between 3,760 and 5,640 ohms. Substituting resistors. What if you need a 6,700 ohm resistor but can only find a 6,800 ohm unit? You can almost always use any value within 10 or 20% of the required value, so go ahead and use it. If a particular circuit requires more accuracy, it will tell you. Of course you can build up custom resistances by connecting two or more resistors in series or in parallel. But, more about that later. Resistor Substitution Precautions Resistors that conduct lots of current can become very hot. Therefore, always use resistors having the proper power rating. If a project you're building doesn't specify the power rating for its resistors, it's usually okay to use one fourth or one half watt units. Some resistor shorthand. Often you'll see resistors designated with a K or M suffix, like 47K or 10M. K means kilo, after the Greek word for 1000. Therefore, 47K means 47 times 1000 or 47,000. M is short for megohm or 1 million ohms. Therefore a 1M resistor has a resistance of 1 times 1 million or 1 million ohms. Summing up. Other kinds of resistors. The carbon composition resistor is only one of several major kinds of resistors. Here are the others. Metal film resistor, is of various kinds of resistors that use a thin film of metal or a metal particle mixture to achieve various resistances. Carbon film resistors, these are made by depositing a carbon film on a small ceramic cylinder. A spiral groove cut into the film controls the length of carbon between the leads, hence the resistance. Wire wound resistors, these consist of a tubular form wrapped with coils of resistance wire. They are very accurate and can take lots of heats. Photoresistors, also called photocells. Made from light sensitive material like cadmium sulfide. Increasing the light level decreases the resistance. Thermistors, is a temperature sensitive resistor. Increasing the temperature decreases the resistance, in most cases. Variable resistors. Often it's necessary to change the resistance of a resistor. Variable resistors are called potentiometers. 
They are used to alter the volume of a radio, change the brightness of a lamp, adjust the calibration of a meter, etc. Trimmers are potentiometers equipped with a plastic thumb wheel or a slot for a screwdriver blade. They are designed for occasional adjustment. Resistor symbols Fixed resistor Potentiometer Thermistor Photoresistor How resistors are used Series circuit Often resistors are connected in series like this. The total resistance is simply the sum of the individual resistances. Parallel circuit Resistors can also be connected in parallel like this. The total resistance is simply the sum of the individual resistances. For three or more in parallel, this is how it is. Voltage division, super important. Voltage out is determined by ratio of R1 and R2. Here's the formula. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, kindly leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos.